Hey guys, so today I will do my April favorites. Um, by the time this video goes up, it will probably be honestly like the middle of May. We are in the process of moving right now and um, all my cords to connect the camera to the computer are packed up. I was stupid to do that, but um, yeah, <laughs> I still want to do an April favorites because I do have somewhat a lot of stuff, so I'm just going to jump right into it. So the first um, thing in no particular order, I did mention this in a preview video, is the Hard Candy Shine Free Primer. And this has been my favorite mattifying primer since um, October. They did reformulate this um, uh, this product, but um, yeah, I love it. You can get it at Walmart, um, $7 I believe. I'm not entirely sure about the price, but it's super good, super amazing, and keeps my face very matte. Um, the next thing is some of these products are going to be a little bit repetitive. Um, let me just move those out of the way. So the next thing is going to be this smudge pot, and it is in Brownie Points, and it is by e.l.f. You can also get this at Walmart, Target, um, the e.l.f. websites. It's $3. It lasts a really long time. I will be doing a um, review on the smudge pots, because I did go ahead and get the other two. But I love this little guy, and yeah, he's one of my favorites. And then the next favorite is um, this lipstick by Wet n Wild, and I do have a lot of them, and this one is in the color um, Cherry cherry Bomb, and it's a deep red, and it is so pigmented. Sorry about like the weird angle thing. Okay, yeah. <laughs> there you go. There's a swatch. So yeah, um, these lipsticks were so cheap at Walgreens and I have been really wearing this one a lot. Uh, yeah, and it lasts forever and it's not drying at all and it's just, it's really affordable and the quality is really good. So then the other lipstick that I was really, really enjoying in April is by Milani. And this one is in Cabaret Blend. So it is another um, deep red color. And I'll just swatch it again for you. Okay, and then uh, this one right here is Cabaret Blend. So, I mean, like, and I love the scent of the Milani lipsticks. They smell like uh, Jolly Ranchers. And I heard that they were supposed to, like, reformulate the smell. Well, like, take the smell out. And I'm kind of glad they didn't because I really like it. <laughs> and it makes me pretty hungry. So I really am liking that. Um, another one of my favorites is the Alcone. Um, the Perfect Line Brush Pen Midnight Black Liquid Eyeliner. So in March... I went back to Chicago and my makeup artist mentor, her name is Kate Johnson, um, I love her to death. Like she is seriously the nicest person and she's so talented at makeup and whenever I assist her, um, like I always organize her stuff and everything and she uses this brand called Alcone and this is like Limelight by Alcone and what that is is that it's brands like Ila Masca, MAC, um, Inglot and uh, Creolon, they allow um, this company, Alcone, to put their name on their products, but they give them like different formulations, but it's still amazing products. And so I did, my mom, for my birthday, because my birthday was in March, she decided to get me the basic starter kit from Alcone. So in the starter kit, this was one of the things that came with it, and it is just this brush pen is so amazing. Like, this is the first brush pen that I have ever used, and it is just so, so amazing. And, um, it dries to a matte black, and the felt tip is just so, like, you can control it. And it's not, like, one of those flimsy, watery brush tips that you blink and like the liquid goes everywhere. <laughs> so um, 
I definitely love this a lot and if I could re recommend anything from this brand it would be one of these. And I do have a couple more things from them. Um, then we got three blushes and this is the color that I have been really liking the most right now. Um, they don't have names so I mean it's just this color and oh, it's so beautiful. I don't know if you can see that but oh my gosh. It's so beautiful and it goes on so smoothly to the cheeks and it blends so nicely. So that's another one. And then um, concealer wise, what I've been loving in April um, is this Tarte, what is it called? Tarte Amazonian Clay Waterproof Concealer. Ugh. And this is in the shade Light and it just basically comes in a tube like this. I did go on the website, sorry there's something in my eye, I did go into the website because I did want to try the creaseless concealer, the one that comes in like a tube package I believe, but they were sold out of it. So I just decided to get this one and I'm so glad that I did, like I love this concealer to bits and I'm sure that I'm almost out of it, yeah, I only have this much left. So um... I've been trying not to use it every day, but I love it so much. And yeah, I would definitely get another one of these when I'm out. But I do want to try the um, the creaseless, I think it's called the creaseless concealer, something like that. <laughs> okay, so the next thing is the Wet n Wild um, Fruity BB Cream. And this is a godsend for like someone who lives in Florida and is humid all the time. Um, I can't wear heavier foundation down here because it'll just like fall off my skin. And because the humidity and the weather is just terrible. So I have pretty much been using this every single day and it doesn't feel heavy, it doesn't stick, it blends nicely, it stays on for the entire day. Um, like I have it on right now and I put it on at like 9 o'clock this morning and it's like nine o'clock at night right now so I definitely do like this and I think it was like five or six dollars at Walgreens it does have a paint smell it's not super strong but if you are sensitive to smells you might just want to take that in consideration but all like all together I really 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 do like this BB cream okay and then the next thing is um, actually these kind of go together these are another Alcom products um, I got a Enduring Lip Color in Creme Brulee, and the packaging looks like this. And it is just this really beautiful pink color, and this is a dupe for the Stila lipsticks. Um, I actually have, I don't know if I can find, oh, it's right here. So I have the Stila Stay All Day Liquid Lipstick and I got this in like their Holiday Artist Palette for Christmas like I think two years ago. And um, okay well the Alcon one is a little bit lighter. So but I mean they are just like pretty much the same exact formula and they stay on the same amount of time. And oh my god I just I love it. And then this is the um, lip gloss that you get with it and this is in the color Grace. This is actually what I have on my lips right now. Um, this smells like vanilla and fruits. The only thing that I don't like and it just happened is when you pull out the product like sometimes it goops up and it can fall. Like it, some of it just fall on my leg. But um, it is the prettiest, prettiest color. I don't know if that's going to show up. Yeah, it's not going to show up on my hand with this lighting. But yeah, definitely loving these two products. And the lip gloss comes with a mirror on the back of it so you can see what you're doing. So I love those products. Um, and then the next one is the e.l.f. blush palette. And this is in the dark color. I got this at Walmart. Um in like the last week of April but when I did get it I wore it every single day because I love the colors. I really do want the light one but I feel like I would definitely use the dark one a lot more. Okay and then this palette. Okay 
had to make sure I was still recording. So this is the Shade and Light palette by Kat Von D. So I know that every, like almost every person when this came out got it. And that's kind of why I didn't want to get it because everybody else had it. But, and I don't really use like highlight shades that much and I have probably like 15 bronzers already. <laughs> So I was really debating about getting this, but I am so glad that I did, and um, I am using this color for contouring, well sometimes, well, sometimes the deeper one and then this color for contouring, and then I'm using the middle one more for bronzing, and um, I'm using this shade for highlighting underneath my eyes and anywhere else. And I just, I'm so impressed. Like, I thought that I wouldn't be. Like, I don't know why I was thinking that because I love Kat Von D products so much. But yeah, I was genuinely impressed by this palette. And I love the packaging. It's very sturdy. It's very sleek. Um, mine kind of got dirty um, pretty fast in the back, but I mean, it's not a big deal. But yeah, I mean, if you are debating about getting this and if you have the money, I would definitely recommend it. I'm really happy with it. And it you can take it with you to travel as well instead of packing up like five different bronzers or highlighters. So the next two products are things that I have been using pretty much every single day in April. Um, whether I use different eyeshadows, I always have to incorporate eyeshadows from these two palettes into it. And they are the Lorac Pro and the Lorac Pro 2 palettes. Um, the Lorac Pro is by far like one of my most used palettes of all time. And I flippin' love it so much as you guys can see. Um, yeah, the colors are just amazing. They're so friendly. And like I've heard people on YouTube be like, oh I was so like underwhelmed by these colors and I didn't think it was anything special but I don't know I love them I love them so much and if you banished me to an island and I can only take one thing it would be this palette and then the Lorac 2 palette I don't use as much but I'm trying to get there and I'm trying to work with it more so this is what the Lorac 2 palette pro 2 palette looks like but I do use these pretty much every single day, no matter like what kind of eye look I'm doing. I have to incorporate like one eyeshadow from either of these two palettes in there. Alright, we're getting down to the last products. So for eye creams, um, I've been using my Origins eye cream. And this was just... I don't know if that's focusing. And this was just like a sample that I got... Um, from where did I get this from? I think I think when I ordered something off the Sephora website, I redeemed my points and just got this. But I do like it a lot. Um, I know Kathleen Lights. She was using this in the beginning, and she really liked it as well. And then she switched to a different eye cream. But um, yeah, I I think in my previous video I said I'm on a no buy, so I'm going to be using the rest of what I have left in this, but I do really like it. It has helped my under circles a lot, and I had really, really bad under eye circles. So I'll we'll finish that little guy up. And then the next product is the Wet n Wild Fergie um, Eye Primer, and I can tell you right now that this is a dupe for the Lorac um, Behind the Scenes Eye Primer. And this, this little rock one, was the only one that I was using for since the Little Rock Pro palette, the original one came out. So since then, this is the only one that I was using. And then I finally ran out of my second tube of it when I got the Little Rock Pro 2 palette. And in a pinch, I didn't know what to do, so I went and I got this one. And this one is a little bit thicker in consistency, or like in texture, but oh my god, your eyeshadows will stick on your eyes forever. Um, I do set this with the uh, with the powder from the Lorac Pro 2 palette. Um, I set it with Buff, which is this color right here. That one. I don't know if it's in focus, but. Um, 
Yeah, I love the Fergie Wet n Wild Eye Primer, and I would say if you want to try out the Lorac behind the scenes, but you don't want to pay the full price for it, definitely go to Walgreens and pick the Fergie one up. I love it, and you get a crap ton of product too. So the last product is the NYX Above and Beyond Full Coverage Concealer, which looks like this. And um, I ordered this when NYX was having a sale like two and a half months ago, I believe. Um, I wanted to get the, the HD concealer and of course they were all sold out. <laughs> and I was just like, okay, well I really want to try a concealer, like something new. So I decided to get this guy and I really like it a lot. Um, I feel like I do have to work kind of harder to blend it out, but I used a fluffy eyeshadow brush um, that I don't use for my eyeshadows and I was just, I kind of just tossed it aside and was just like, oh, I don't really know what to use that for. But I grabbed it and I used it to blend this guy out underneath my eyes and it works like a charm. And I've pretty much been going to this one instead of my Tarte one because I do want to save my Tarte one for when I do eventually get a job and stuff and save money. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, thank you so much for watching and hopefully you guys found some new products that you want to try out. And yeah, if you like my videos, please subscribe and give me a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!